okay if there is anybody actually currently watching this yet which i I was going to say I don't think there is, but then YouTube always tells me that I have zero views, even when I know I have viewers. So, that could be a person. Anyway, if you are, if there is anybody watching this yet, because <laughs> we're like, what, an hour and a half earlier than normal. Um, there's the, 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 the reason for uh, a slight delay, this was meant to start like half one, the reason for a slight delay was off camera kitten drama, so you already have to start drinking. <laughs> Scorpio decided this morning that he was going to uh, make a run for it when I was going to work. So, uh, yeah, he scarpered out the front door. Absolutely nothing I could do about it. <laughs> Chased him for like 15 minutes. Little fucking tit kept let, get me, like, letting me get like just close enough and then be like, ah, oh, fuck you and run it off. In fact, I almost hope somebody was filming it because it was probably quite funny. <laughs> Uh, this was at like half three in the morning, right? And, uh, um, oh, Fred's here, yay! Um, and, and, and um, uh, yes, yes, eventually I gave up and I thought I'm just gonna have to leave him out while I go to work. <laughs> and, like, he's, he's been out before, he's even been out all day before, but he's only been out when I'm in, you know, and the back door's open and he can just come and go as he pleases. He's never actually been out like all day like locked out the house all day while i'm at work before so i was slightly freaking out a little bit as you do <laughs> anyway went to work um uh, was 15 minutes late for work so then i stayed 15 minutes behind to make up for it um <laughs> came back no sign of him went into the flat opened the back door went out into the backyard with the other cat you know hoping yeah, thinking maybe he'll just turn up but you know you know he'll, he'll hear a word and he'll turn up nothing so i thought i'm gonna have to go looking for him went round the block like three times peering through people's gates into their back gardens like some kind of weirdo trying to find out where the fuck he was like 20 minutes eventually came back came into the backyard and there he is sitting in the middle of the backyard looking at us like where the fuck have you been <laughs> now that look they give you like what just like what where you been looking at it's like i've done something wrong <laughs> He came up to us, gave us a bit of a sniff, a head boop, and then he went in, ate some food, drank some water, and went back out again, the little fucking arsehole. <laughs> so, that's how my day started. Oh, do you remember on Saturday when I said it had been an awful week? Yeah, it hasn't gotten any better, to be honest with you. But, uh, yes, what are we doing? Dragon Age. Um... Uh, oh, I, I wander away from my microphone something, do I? <laughs> yeah, it's because I swivel in my chair while I'm talking. <laughs> um, right, okay, so YouTube is actually telling me I have a viewer as well. It's it's on the ball today, either that or like I've got several viewers. Because it usually tells me less than what I've actually got. So I don't know if it is just you, Fred, or if there's, you know, lurkers. There might be lurkers. Who knows? Let's just imagine there's lurkers. Let's just say to ourselves, yeah, there's lurkers. <laughs> right, anyway, um, welcome back to Dragon Age. I shall actually put the game on for you. Um, I have called this episode Fighting Aldred because I don't actually know what we're going to be doing after we've been fighting Aldred. Um, because uh, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. And... <laughs> I just thought I need to name the episode like five minutes ago and I thought, what are we doing? We're fighting Aldred. What are we going to do after fighting Aldred? I don't have a fucking clue. We'll call it Fighting Aldred. There we go. That's a good uh, good uh, title. Right. So, we are in the Circle Tower. We have survived the fade. We came out victorious. Um. Uh, oh, it's saying I've got two viewers. Oh my god. Maybe starting earlier than usual is actually a good tactic. Um, I don't normally have two this early. <laughs> Um, 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 uh, what was I saying? Yes, we're going to go and fight Aldred. We've come out of the fade. We're going to go and fight Aldred. I don't know what we're going to do after that. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, I can't imagine fighting Aldred is going to take three hours, but you never know. The fade took three hours, which you never normally would. Um, I'm sure I was going to say something else. Fred, what was I going to say? <laughs> Come on, you know me pretty well by now. What was I going to say? <laughs> um, no, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, yes. Um, 
I still haven't recorded the 300 subscriber special. I was going to do it on Sunday and then I didn't because reasons. So, um, yeah, I haven't recorded that yet, but we'll, we'll you know, we'll get there. Um, sorry, I've got stuff stuck in my teeth. What the fuck is that? You know you've got something stuck in your teeth and then you look at it and you think, what is that that I've eaten? I've absolutely no clue. <laughs> Oh my god. Right. Uh, oh god, we've got three viewers. Fucking hell. You've tuned into the wrong one. I'm, I'm more friggin' mental than usual today. Um, maybe, maybe people seem to like that though. People seem to like the mentalness. Which fucking way am I going here? Am I meant to be going up? Harrowing chamber. That sounds like a place I want to be, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't, but it does. Right. Um... Go and see if we can find anything to kill. That's usually a good... Um, we must have been here. Yeah, because that was a chest that I couldn't open, wasn't it? Oh, hang on, did I get extra lock picking? This level up. No, I apparently didn't. Um, um, oh, we scared one viewer away, did we? I don't know, it's still saying for me that it's got three. Although it seems to update quicker for you, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised we scared a viewer away. Right, that's the third level, which I think is where we came from. Right, so we're heading through in this direction. It's probably one of those people. People seem to stumble across my live streams having never watched, like, any other of my videos. They just seem to stumble across my... It's like a surprising number of people just seem to stumble across my live streams. And I always feel a bit sorry for them because they're probably tuning in to me just off on some random tangent or something and probably think, who the fuck is this woman and what drugs is she on? <laughs> Not on drugs, I promise. Just chocolate. Um, speaking of which, I actually have some chocolate buttons here, so if you hear this at any point during cutscenes, it's just me getting a chocolate button. <laughs> some days you just need chocolate. Alright, okay. I think there's, is there not some dragons for us to fight along here somewhere? I'm sure that's the thing I remember. Um, okay. So... Like those juicy, juicy codex entries. Found a note in a book. That sounds exciting. Oh, it's the extracurricular studies stuff. It's not something that we need to worry about. Right. I think there's dragons through here, aren't there? Yep, there we go. Little dragons. Get Morrigan's cone of cold out to deal with these. I just assume, I assume dragons are um, uh, weak to cold, right? I don't think I've ever actually checked that, I just kind of assume it would make sense, wouldn't it? And there we go, we've managed to shatter one! Um. <laughs> Viewers are just jumping around all over the place, but YouTube's just, you know, throwing a fit. Which it does sometimes. Also, I've got like two different places on my screen where it tells me how many current viewers I have. And on one of them it says two, and on the other it says three. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That dragon had a health potion on it. <clears throat> now, I think this level you can't get back up to again once you finish the mission, can you? I'm sure you can't, and I'm sure there's a chest up here that's, like, really high level and you can't unlock it unless you come here, like, last or something. And uh, it really annoys me every time. I'm sure that's a thing. Hello, Mr. Abomination! Uh, sorry, I I get distracted reading the chat and I forget to actually make Dora fight people. That's what happens. Fred's just, you know, commenting on how many viewers we currently have. Three, according to my screen. But, you know. And um, Alistair's gonna die! Win healed him, excellent. We've hardly got any health potions left, unfortunately, because apparently using health potions in the Fade actually, like, uses them in the physical world for some reason. <sighs> uh, actually, it would be cool if you could, like, use all of your health potions at the Fade and then when you come back into, like, the real world, you've still rolled them all. <laughs> that would make more sense lore-wise, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is the chest. The arsehole chest that I can hardly ever open because I always come here quite early in the game to get those delicious attribute points. Right. 
Så. Um, uh, oh, now it's telling me four viewers. Can't be any of the regulars, though, because they've been too quiet in the chat if it is. <laughs> Got big mouths, our regulars. <laughs> uh, which is a good thing. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't mean that as an insult. Um, right. You can hide for us in here. Oh, this looks like the kind of room where stuff's going to pop up. Stuff going to pop up. Look, there's a chest luring us in down there. I'm definitely going to be attacked by something, right? 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 There we go. I freaking knew it. Oh, loads of them as well. <sighs> um, and we're on fire. Is that a rage demon? It doesn't appear to be a rage demon. We're just all on fire for reasons. Oh, daisies. Oh dear, that's quite um, bad, isn't it? Can you do a group heal, please, Win? Can everybody else like take a health potion? Oh, actually, we don't have that many health potions. Alistair can take a health potion, and I can take a health potion because I'm important. Provided we don't die before we stand up. Oh, Win died before she could do our group heal. Well, that's no good at all. Uh, oh, there is a rage demon. Oh, I I did not see him. Okay, Morgan, I'm gonna let you have a health potion because you're kind of important. Um. Uh, <laughs> actually, I need your cone of cold for the old uh, rage demon. You just managed to freeze me there, Morgan. Love. <laughs> That's no good at all. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> right. Got a bit of a winter's grass, but there we go. See if I'd noticed he was there earlier. But I didn't. I've also got level ups I've completely missed, apparently. Ah, down he goes. Okie dokie. Right. So, Morgan, you can have two in magic and one in willpower. Uh, ooh, what do we want to give her? What do we want to give her? Combat training, that's a fairly. Oh, they just don't need it as much, do they? Uh, warriors and rogues gain access to third tier weapons, talents, mages can take more damage from an attack before it their spellcasting. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Survival, maybe? Or should we just go combat training? Might as well just go combat training. Because we, we don't need, like, the herbalism yet. I think it's not until kind of a bit later in the game that you sort of need the expert herbalism, is it? I would think, maybe. Um, uh, right, yeah. Oh, it's telling me five viewers now, Fred. Five. Five. And you're still the only one in the chat. You look very lonely there. <laughs> Need someone to have a bit of banter with, don't you? Um, right, okay. Uh, right, 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 right. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want from Oregon? Oh, I don't know. I haven't thought this far ahead yet. I do like the old entropy skills. Although I remember people were talking about Mana Clash, weren't they, during one of the uh, streams. Uh, what's that about a drain? It creates a parasitic bond. Ooh, that <laughs> sounds quite good, doesn't it? A parasitic bond uh, with spellcasting target absorbing a small amount of mana. Mm. Mm. Um, although I actually quite like, I know the shape shifting is for the most part kind of shit, but I actually quite like the bear shape. There are times where it's um useful not a lot of times but there are times where it's kind of useful especially if you get like overwhelmed or something being able to just have morgan turn into a bear um like if she's on the brink of death it, it can sometimes be quicker than like using a health potion or something like that to just turn her into a bear. or we could go hexes because while the affliction hex isn't that great the misdirection hex is amazing and then the death hex is like also amazing yay we've got welsh friend hello welsh friend um, see, you're not so lonely now, Fred. <laughs> um, uh, ooh, death magic's quick. Oh, I love death magic, actually. Death magic's pretty badass. See, this is why I never really go for the spirit spells, because I'm always focused on the entropy. The entropy's just so good, man. Especially when you get up to, like, this guy. Paralyze is really good as well. When I played as Constance, Paralyze is, like, what carried her through, to be honest. I will go with a hex though. Get the hexes going up because they can be really quite powerful. And win! Two in magic and one in willpower. 
and you can have uh, well we don't need her to have herbalism because Morgan's gonna be our herbalist person so we'll just go combat training and um, um, uh, sorry I'm just reading the chat um, I don't generally make Win much of an attacky person. I make her more of a healy person. Especially since I always have her like with Morrigan if I'm not playing as a mage myself. Mind Blast wouldn't be terrible though, would it? Um, actually, Mana Drain would probably be more useful for her because she tends to run out of my mana quicker. And it's more important for her to have mana because I'm relying on her to keep everybody healed. Whereas if Morrigan runs out of mana, like she can't cast her attacky spells, which isn't as much of a problem most of the time. Whereas if Wynne runs out of mana, it can be a, uh, it can be quite good. Uh, there's been no off cat and kitten, kitten drama in the actual video yet. No, but um, there was some beforehand, which is why we were half an hour late. But you know, you can go back and watch the first bit of the video to get the story if you want. <laughs> <laughs> when it goes up as an actual video. Um, I'm not explaining it again, we'll be here all day. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. What's that mana cleanse? Cast the sacrifices personal mana to nullify the mana of enemies in the area. Oh, that sounds, yeah, that sounds kind of fun. While in this mode, the caster overflows with magical energy, making spells more powerful but expending mana rapidly. Suffering a penalty to mana regeneration. That doesn't sound like something I'd use a lot. My caster expels a large amount of mana in direct opposition to enemy spellcasters who are completely drained of mana and suffer spirit damage proportional to the amount of mana they lost. Um. Oh, nostalgia's back. Hello, love. See, we're getting the gang back together again. Um. Ooh, animate that. You see, I never look at spirit. This is why it's fun doing live streams because people suggest things to me and I stop looking at things that I've never looked at before. The only spirit I do is um, this one here because Mind Blast's pretty good. And then Force Field I never really use. Telekinetic Weapons is alright but then Crushing Prison is amazing. So that's like the only thing I've ever done in spirit to be honest. Uh, what was I looking at? I was looking at something that looked cool. Oh yes, Animate Dead. The caster summons a skeleton minion from the corpse of a fallen enemy to fight alongside the party for a short time. Although as a puppet of the caster, it will not use any talents or spells without specific instruction. So that's one of those things that sounds really, really cool, but probably isn't actually that useful in the grand scheme of things, but it would be cool, right? <laughs> um, um, uh, I'm going to go mana drain actually with win. I'm going to do that. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe you're all going to start screaming at me, but you know. <laughs> None of you said anything about it throughout all of that, so to be honest, you had your chance. <laughs> right, okay. So, that's a chest I can't open, isn't it? I'll get on it. Yeah, fucking insufficient skill. Grumble, grumble. Right, so. Through here, that's a lot of blood. Hello, Cullen, darling angel. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Oh, hi. Um, are you alright? A Templar and it seems he's a prisoner? What won't work? What's going on? Who are you? Yeah, what won't work? The boy is exhausted. And this cage, Alice, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help us here. Uh, enough vision. If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. You broke the others, but I will stay strong. For my sake. Full of bears. Filthy blood mages. Getting in my head. Ah, uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. Right. Um. Yeah, sorry for any crinkling you can hear. I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> um. Um. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. This scene is really interesting if you bring Leliana with you after having played Inquisition, because this is the first time Cullen and, Lelia Cullen and Leliana meet. And they have a little interaction, and it's just really interesting, like, playing it in retrospect of Inquisition. Um, because, like, she recognises that he's been tortured, 
because of the way that she was tortured in Leliana's song. And it creates a little bit of like recognition between them. And it's really interesting. Cause that's not something you think of so much in Inquisition. By the time you get to Inquisition, you don't really think, oh yeah, you know, Cullen was tortured by the Blood Mages and Leliana was tortured by uh, Marjolaine's people. Or whoever it was who tortured her. Um, the Orlesians or the Ferelduns, depending on which version of the story you believe. Um, and I don't know, it just creates a little, like, moment between them. And and I, it's just interesting, having played Inquisition and watched them interact there. Uh, but I didn't bring Liliana with Woo, so you don't get to see it. Anyway, um... Um... Where are the other survivors? You're not gonna die, not if I can help it. Don't be foolish, we're not some kind of illusion. Snap out of it, I've no time for these games. You save now. Yeah. Um, Dora's kind of a snap out of it sort of girl, isn't she? Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. <clears throat> um You're pretty dense, aren't you? <laughs> that might be a bit too harsh. Let's just say I'm no trick of the mind. send you how how did you get here um gregor sent me i defeated everything in my way now it's aldred's turn yeah let's say that good kill aldred kill them all for what they've done they caged us like animals looked for ways to break us i'm the only one left they turned some into monsters and there's nothing I could do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, where's Irving? What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sound's coming up from there. Oh, man. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them. You don't know what they've become. Uh, we can't just kill them all. I don't understand. What are you afraid of? Hmm. <clears throat> now, Dora Bella did come in here under the, uh, you know, agreeing that she was going to just kill all the mages, didn't she? But she didn't know, you know, the full story. And she encountered Wynne and everything. She was like, well, Wynne's not an abomination. She kind of is in a way, but also isn't. Um, we don't know that yet. <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, what are you afraid of, Cullen? They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. Okay, so what are you suggesting? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live, you must kill everyone up there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I'd rather spare my little car than risk harming an innocent. Hmm. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, oh. Let's just say I can't decide until I see what's going on. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric. Okay. Which is a fair point, actually, and I think it's one of the main reasons that blood magic is, like, banned. And it's, it's something that never gets mentioned when people are, like, defending blood magic. You know, the fans. And they're going, like... Oh, but it's just a means to the end. It's not the magic that's evil. It's how you use it and all of this. And it's like, yeah, but it can literally control minds. Like, that is something, even if that's not what you use it for, the fact that you can use it for that, it's, it's worth banging it, banning it for, right? Um, um, <sighs> I do not fear Malathagaram. They should fear me. Yeah, let's say that. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? Um. 
We don't know that they're all blood mages. I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore. Ah, but what can I do? As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. Get the impression, Fred, that you are not much of a Cullen fan. <laughs> Just from your comments. <laughs> Just getting that idea. Um, okay, good. Then you can't cause any trouble. My cage is Aldred's doing. Or one of his mages. Once they're dead, I will be free. Okay. <laughs> no one ever listens. <laughs> Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Okay, Colin, darling. <laughs> um, right. So, I'm sorry if me eating chocolate sounds a bit disgusting. Because, <laughs> um, you remember when I was eating noodles? I can't remember which one that was. I was eating noodles during one of the live streams. I went back and watched it afterwards and I was like, God, that sounded really awful. <laughs> but, I forget how much noise the mic actually picks up. Um, yes, I'm kind of hoping the chocolate won't sound quite as bad, but maybe it will, I don't know. Okay, I take it you're Aldred. Stop what you're doing immediately. <laughs> I'll just be going now. <laughs> what happens if you pick that one? Um, I don't want to in case you actually do leave. Um, I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. Um, yeah, I take it you're Aldred. Responsibility of independence. We're up to six viewers now, according to YouTube, and we're only half an hour in. I think I don't think we've ever been up to six at only half an hour in. Six is usually the peak during most of the lives. I think the highest we've ever got is seven, like all at once. Um, we've had like, like more than that overall, but like all at the same time, seven is usually like the peak. Um, uh, I thought this one. I thought this one wouldn't get as many what with me starting earlier anyway um soon follow your servants you're turning these people into abominations i'm sorry are you upset i killed your lackeys those blood majors and abominations got what they deserved what are you trying to accomplish by torturing these people yeah that's probably a better one is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. 
There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. Hmm. Mm, say what you like, I'm still going to kill you. Yeah, that sounds like a good option. That sounds like a Dora Bella kind of option. She's just like, I don't really want to hear your mad evil plans. I'm just going to stick a knife in you. Resistance. Everywhere I go, resistance. How very inconsiderate. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I? What have you done to him? Uh, stop him. He is building an army. Will destroy the Templars, and you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually, as will you. <clears throat> um. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, really, what is that supposed to mean? Because you can't turn me into an abomination. I'm literally a dwarf. Oh, I'm not stupid. Do you think I'm going to let you wander around this tower knowing you are a pawn of the Templars? You are a thorn in my side, and I must remove you before you fester. Um... Uh, <laughs> did you have to use such a disgusting analogy? No, but it served to bring the point across. I cannot let you be, but killing you? Such a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I... I am a dwarf. Like, oh my god, open your eyes, man. <laughs> How eh? You cannot be this stupid. <laughs> um, uh, that's going too far. You're going to die now. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. <laughs> yeah, you know, it doesn't sound that appealing to me, love. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Okay, in the chat, Fred is just um, sharing his theory that Irving is Morrigan's father. He's told me about this theory before, and I, I desperately want him to write a fan fiction about it because I think it would be hilarious. Anyway! <laughs> oh, what about one where, like, Aldred is Morrigan's father. Now that would be more juicy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, um, look at all these lazy arseholes just lying around on the floor over here. Okay, so the key to this fight is you've got to listen out for win because whenever you need to use the litany of Adrala to stop the blood magic, because I think he uses blood magic at points and it turns mages into abominations, I think. And then you end up having to fight more people. But you can sort of see when he's going to do it, but if you're not paying attention, Wind will shout at you and then you use the litany of Adrala and it, like, you know, stops him. Or something like that. That's kind of, you know. Um. Uh. Yeah, that is exactly what I said. Flemeth kills her lovers. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh. You got a PS4 thinking you could play Origins. What, did you get the PS... Like, you actually buy a PS4 specifically to play Origins. We've got eight viewers. That's a record. Fuck me. Uh, fucking, what is it? Half past two on a Tuesday afternoon. Like, the Tuesday streams don't generally do as well as the Saturday ones. This is freaking me out a bit here. Um, yeah, did you actually get the PS4 just to play Origins? Because that sucks. <laughs> I think you can play it on PS3, can't you? Do you not play on PS5? I know you mustn't be able to. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> right, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to let Aldra turn into... There we go! He's turned into a pride demon. So presumably he is kind of an abomination himself, right? Presumably. Um... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Ignore us, we won't go away. Is that directed at me? Or are you telling me to just actually concentrate on the fucking fight woman and stop staring at the chat? Fair enough. Um, okay, uh, who to target first? Oh, oh, decisions. Right, okay, if we get rid of the abominations first. So... Uh, oh, a sneaky third one came in from somewhere. I've just realised I can't actually hear Win because I've got the volume lower than usual so that you can, you know, hear me over the fighting. Um. Okay. Uh, Alistair, you are about to die. So, <laughs> please take a health potion, love. There we go. And see if we can get this button. I don't think the abominations go down quite easily. So as long as we can stop him from, uh, you know, creating any new ones... Um, there we go. Now we should just be able to focus on him. And as long as we uh, keep using the litany of Adrala, hopefully he shouldn't be able to, you know, summon any new minions. Uh, and he just set fire to us all. That's, you know, problematic. Um, fire's really bad. Like, it kills you quite quickly. Um, are you using your blood magic ability? I'm going to use the litany just in case. Woo! Did we... Did that... Did that work? I think that worked. It's, it's still just him, right? Uh, oh, now he's doing it. Oh, fuck. I used it too early. I used it too early, man. Oh, I can't use it when it's on cooldown. <laughs> fuck that up, didn't I? Um, and I've been frozen. <laughs> uh, maybe I can use it. Maybe I can use it. Woo. There we go. It worked. There we go. I forgot I've got subtitles on, so it'll be, uh, it'll be written. Um, uh, yeah, it'll be written on the screen, won't it? Sorry, I've got half an eye on the chat. I mean, don't freak out. It wouldn't be me if I didn't freak out. <laughs> Is that not why you watch me? You don't watch me for the freak outs. And he's using it again. There we go. Uh, oh. That's not good. He just threw Alistair across the room. Morrigan's dying. That's very not good. We need Morrigan. She does sexy things. Um, you want to do a bit of a cone of gold? Actually, hexes! That's what we want. We want all the hexes. We live in Texas. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Oh, follow us, got him down, you know. We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Uh, Fred just yelled, Hex Aldred, right after I hexed Aldred. Already done it, Fred. Although there's a latency, so I won't actually have done it yet. Um, as far as you're concerned. But, um, um... Oh, I missed it! I missed it! Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, use the litany! If you don't use the litany enough, can Aldred actually get turned into an abomination? I don't know, but Morrigan's been uh, frozen, which is bad. I was going to make her use a health potion there, but uh, Wynne healed her, because Wynne's, you know, she's good like that. Use up our health potions. We're going to be uh, a bit low on the old health potions, aren't we? There we go. Oh, we're done. We're done. There we go. We don't even get a victory cutscene. Oh, I think we do when we talk to uh, Irving, don't we? It's the old Cinderfell gauntlets and money. Excellent, love me some money. Have a little scout around this room, see if there's anything to loot. Because, you know, priorities. Apparently not. Okay, hello Irving, love.
Uh, yes, very well, my dear. Lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the circle be housed in a tower. Make us brave. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Uh, <laughs> I believe order has been restored to the circle. have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. Yay, okay. What about the dogs when I require aid? How to be done? I have resolved <coughs> I have resolved your duty here as you said you owe me. Yeah, um what about the dogs born? I promised you aid. With the circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. Uh, okay, and what will the Templars do? For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving. It's good to have you back. I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Okay, so um, we're just debating what age Irving would be to be Morgan's father. <laughs> really, according to like the Codex or the Wiki or something, Win is only meant to be about thirty-six or something stupid like that, isn't it? Which I'm sure must be a mistake, because while I know it's like a medieval kind of setting, and you could maybe think that maybe you know they don't live as long as you know we do in the real world. Still, I'm sure it's something like 36, 37 she's meant to be. It's like stupidly young. Um, <laughs> um, Here we are, the tower in disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. Though it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the maker himself sent you. Okay. Um, uh, Blight drove me here to seek aid. It was no coincidence. Glad I could help. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad I could help. From what Gregor said, it seems that you came here seeking allies. The least we can do is help you against the dark spawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the blight. Uh, yeah, what about the tower? Don't you have to stay? We will do what we can for now. But if the blight spreads, the tower itself will be lost. Stopping the blight is more important. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the circle will do fine without me. The circle has you. This woman is brave and good, and capable of great things. If she will accept my help, I will help her accomplish her goals. Uh, I'll be honored to have you join me, Win. <laughs> yeah, you can come with me if you really want to, Win. <laughs> Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden. But know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Uh, yes, well, goodbye for now, my dear. When the time comes. 
very interesting debate going on in the chat about the Templars and the Mages and the Tower. Now, you see, it's interesting because throughout the course of the games and the books, I think we get quite a limited view of the like the circles because the main focus, because it's like to do with the rebellion, it's the main focus is on where the rebellion kind of starts, which is like Kirkwall and then the White Spire, which I think are meant to be like the two worst ones. But you get... Um, sort of hints from, you know, the Ferelden Tower, but also, like, from other little things, like, little snippets that you get from, you know, parts of the game and stuff like that, that all of the circles are not like that, that they're not prisons, you know? I mean, there's 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 plenty of times you see mages kind of coming and going, like, they need permission, and I think it's only, like, senior mages and things like like, like the apprentices can't leave. But I think once they've passed their harrowing and thing like things like that, once they've, you know, proved that they're not a danger, um... And, uh, uh, laptops just turned itself off. Um, you know, there's plenty of instances where mages are, you know, allowed to kind of come and go so long as they have a reason and, you know, they've got permission. Like, Wynne just there got permission to leave the tower to follow me to fight, you know, against the, uh, the Darkspawn. And they obviously had permission to leave the tower to go and fight at Ostagar. Um... So, you know, I think we kind of see the worst of it, but because because the the focus is on where the rebellion starts. But, like, you know, there, there are hints that all of the towers are not like that. There are particular hints if you play as a, um, a, a human mage in Inquisition that the Ostwick Tower is maybe not as strict as some of them. Um, so, yeah, I think it kind of varies from circle to circle, but, you know. Um, and people like uh, Vivian, I mean, she has a complete life outside the circle, doesn't she? Which is, you know, because she knows the right people and she knows what strings to pull, but... Um, but she, does she not have, like, a like a house she lives in or something like that? Like, outside the circle, she just lives her own life? So, you know, I don't think it's like, a, it's like a complete prison. It's more like a boarding school, I think. You know, I mean, some of them are, are prison, like, Kirkwall is a prison. Right, Kirkwall is definitely a prison. But if in the case of like Ferelden, you get the the impression it's more like a boarding school. It's just you never actually get to like graduate and leave. <laughs> but you sort of transition from student to teacher kind of thing, you know. Um But like if you really dig into the codex and things like that, you, you get a lot of hints that, you know, all of the circles aren't as bad as the ones that get the most focus. Uh and then that you say now now I kind of agree with you, Fred, that you would think that the Templars would come with mages to fight, right? But when you're saying they'd be guarding an empty tower, they wouldn't because every mage isn't gonna go to fight because some of them will be children. You know? And somebody needs to teach the children. So the children are gonna stay behind. And then the people who are teaching the children are gonna stay behind. Some of them are probably too old to fight. So there'll be plenty of people in the tower to guard. There's still gonna need to be Templars in the tower. But you know, I do agree that you would think that they, that some Templars would come with the mages to fight. I do agree with that. Um, seems a bit weird that they would just, like, unleash a mage army. You know, just gather a mage army and then just be like, yeah, off you pop. <laughs> you know, especially after there's just nearly been an entire rebellion in this circle. Like, you know, <laughs> that does sound a little bit uh, iffy. Um... Right, okay, so, I don't know, what are we going to do now? Should we talk to the quartermaster and sell all my shit? Did you really kill all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yes, uh, let's trade. Um, I don't think there's anything I need, is there? Well, he's got some decent shit. I mean, that belt is amazing, but I can't even slightly afford it. But uh, I always remember it's there, so we can come back and get it later. Um, that stuff's pretty good as well. I can't afford that either. Right, okay, what have we got that we could sell? Um, sell all like, the generic shit that I don't need. Me humming to myself because I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> the boring bit that I would normally edit out. Don't need any of the armor, do I? Don't need any armor. 
Uh, well, actually, I'll tell you what, we'll keep it just in case some of it's better than like what Leliana and whatnot are wearing. I don't want to sell too much before I go back to camp and kit everybody out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Head back to camp. I was saying at the start of the video, I don't actually know what we're going to do now. I haven't thought that far ahead. We're not even an hour in. I've already run out of things to do. So, uh, we'll go back to camp. Sort everybody's inventories and stuff out. Maybe have a chat with everybody. Light. How will you end? Oh, hello, Sten. Uh, nice to see you as well. I just thought I'd ask the Darkspawn to please leave. If you hope to slay the Archdemon with wit, you may want to arm yourself first. You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Okay. Um, you doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I mean, I am quite new, you know? It's only like me sort of second week or something like that. Probably not even that, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Fred. Yeah, they're just going to hand a mage army over to the Grey Wardens. Not even, like, a well-known Grey Warden. I've been a Grey Warden for, like, a week and a half or something like that. <laughs> um, uh, I'm new to the Wardens. You think you could do better? I'm not here to impress you. Yeah, I'm not here to impress you, Sten. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. I mean, mostly to, you know, look pretty. Oh, he approved. Yay. Uh, we'll get rid of the litany of a drawler off me thing. Don't need that anymore. Uh, we should sort everybody's infantry, though. I always hate this bit. Really boring. <laughs> Try to see if you've got any better, uh, you know. Whoops! Did I nearly accidentally destroy something? Then I don't think. I think. I think it. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, I think Alistair's got everything he needs. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry, I'm reading the chat. Right, just stop getting distracted, alright? You, mm, 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 you can read it later. <laughs> um, uh, right, we wanted to have charged mitts, which is electricity damage. Or Cinderfell gauntlets, which is fire damage. What I really need is cold damage, because she does not have any fire spells yet. She only has one electricity spell that she hardly ever uses. We'll give her the charged mitts anyway. Um, hmm, should we give her a hat? She looks stupid in the hat, though, doesn't she? What's that? 12 defense and mana regeneration. Yeah, but she looks silly. Like, why do we want to put her in something that looks silly? See, it just looks, it just, it looks silly. No, I'm not putting her in that. It ruins her hair. Um, now somebody said last time put her in the Archon robes. I feel like her robes are better than the Archon robes, right? I mean, her robes are plus two magic and extra cold damage, and cold is like. You know, the thing that we uh, use the most with her. Health regeneration in combat is alright, but I don't think she really needs it. Armour and spell power. Yeah, I suppose it is quite good. At least it covers our tits up a bit better as well. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does definitely cover our tits up. Um, uh, I think any of them are better. Win! Win, 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 win. Oh, Con Rob's not going to be better than what you've got, are they? No, 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 no. And you can have the Cinderfell Gauntlets, even though you don't have any fire magic either, but you know. Uh, we've got them, so you may as well have them. And. Doggy! Little doggy! Little doggy! I do have something for you, don't I? Don't I have something for you? I'm sure I have something for you. There we go. Yeah, the sky is physical resistance, much better than what we've got. And ooh, plus two constitution versus plus two armor penetration and plus eight armor. The armor penetration and the armor's got to be better, right? Because armor and constitution are not like a million miles apart from each other. And we can't put a necklace on him. That's terrible. Discrimination against doggies, that's what that is. Plenty actual armor we can put Sten in. Should we just leave him in the chastened robes because he looks awesome? <laughs> and like, I'm not taking him out to battle anytime soon. 
<laughs> I'm just going to let him stay looking like that. Uh, Leliana. Uh, have we got any better armor for you, my love? Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. And that's all we've got. Okay. And me, I think I'm all kitted out, right? Oh, yeah, because I've got... Um, the, uh, the, 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 yes, thingy armor on. Okay, okay. Talk to Bodan. Well, your friend's a formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Uh, 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 I'm sure you. Solve the shit to him. Oh, Beastman's Dagger, I forgot about that. That's got to be better than Enchanted Dagger, right? Yes. Um, Isn't it? Do you find it weird that you can't enchant the Enchanted Dagger? I find that odd. Highly suspicious, in fact. Uh, we don't need the heavy chain mail. I don't want to get rid of the Archon rubs because, you know, they're quite sexy, but nobody's ever going to wear them. <laughs> I just don't think anybody's going to wear them. Um, uh, get rid of those two. Ah, we've got plenty of inventory. We can keep them. I'm never going to use that. I'm never going to use them. Uh, all these bombs and things that I keep forgetting I've got. <laughs> yeah, stuff like this, I always keep it because I think it, you know, it looks useful, but then I can never ever use it. Ever, 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 ever. I've also got gifts to give people. <sighs> okay, now we're actually going to get round to the enchanting. Hello! Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantment. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a, what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Okay, what enchantments does he do? What's some enchanting done well because you have? Yeah, what enchanting does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Ulzamar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, oh, there's a cat! There's a cat! There's kitten drama! Hello, putty! Oh, he's on the desk. Oh, the keyboard is off the desk. Don't sit on me phone. Don't sit on me phone. And he's down. <laughs> this is the asshole cat who fucking ran away this morning while I was going to work. Ended up locked out the house all day for the first time ever. You locked out the house, weren't you? Eh? Because you ran away. And I chased you for 15 whole minutes. Yes. And you had me running round like an absolute fucking numpty. <laughs> he was loving it, he was. Every time I got close to him, he was like, Ah, oh, fuck you, you can't catch me. Little dick. And I managed to get him. I managed to get him. I was like, you are going back in that fucking flat, whether you want to or not. And I was like walking up towards the door and once he realised we were going towards the door he just struggled and struggled and struggled and he got away from me. Little tit, aren't you? You're a little tit. And then when I came back from work <laughs> I had to go out looking for him and he eventually turned up just sitting in the backyard and honestly he was just not bothered. He's not bothered at all. He was just like, oh you're back are you? <laughs> little tit. Hmm? You're a little tit, aren't you? Yeah. You nailed it. Yes. Now he's pushed the keyboard off onto my knee. <sighs> and I can only see about three quarters of my screen because he's lying in front of it. What have you got stuck in your fur? Hey, don't go near the microphone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of kitten drama just then. Whatever it is you're drinking. <laughs> Fucking neck it. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I would like some enchanting done, please. Enchantment. Okay, so we've got Oathkeeper. What should we put in Oathkeeper? Oh my god, cat, will you just... You're hanging half off the desk, man. This is no good at all. Can I push you back on a bit? There you go. There you go. Right, um... um oh, we've got loads. We've got loads. Journeyman's... Journeyman's better than novice, isn't it? We'll go Journeyman Lightning Rune in Oathkeeper. And Beastman's Dagger, you can have also Journeyman Lightning Rune. 
And, ooh, Paralyze. That's a really good one. That's Spell Resistance, which I don't really need because I'm a dwarf. What happens if you put Flame and Electricity on? Was it like Flame and Electricity? Probably. Um... <laughs> I like, quite like the slow runes as well, but Paralyze is just really good, and it's a journeyman one. So, get those two, and then uh, if I put Beastman's Dagger on... Uh, whoops! Wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. I want it on that bit. And then, she'd be all sparkly! Oh, look at her! All sparkly! Eh? You okay, Scorpio? Yeah. You alright? You had a fun day of adventures? Uh-huh. Hey, dear, this cat is such a twat. <laughs> um, right, okay, so. Uh, ooh, Levy's here. Should we talk to Levy? I don't think we just, like, do some errands and stuff like that. We'll talk to Levy, we'll start that quest, and then we'll go around to talk to everybody, and then we'll just, you know, see what we feel like doing. You're a hard woman to find. Where am I? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Uh, did the sound go briefly quiet for you for a bit there? Because I accidentally turned the uh, volume down on my headphones and it went quiet for me. But I don't know if it went quiet for you, I'm interested. Um, 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 um. Yeah, Duncan never mentioned you, but to be honest, I only knew him for about 10 minutes before he got killed. He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Okay, dokey. Um, this conversation is really long-winded and boring. Should we just skip through it? Because we all know it, right? We all know it. Uh, what promise did Duncan make my you? Family were my yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this fucking life story. Just people. tell me what I need to know, love. Duncan Jesus Christ. Now, I say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Uh, me? Yeah, sure. Let's go to Soldier's Peak. Why not? Um, there we go. Fucking hell. The amount of times I've sat through that fucking conversation. <sighs> I find Levy a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, <laughs> this cat. You know when they do that thing where they like put their head too close to something and it like irritates their ear? So rather than moving their head, they just keep flicking their ear, hoping that the thing they're up against will move. <laughs> That's what he's doing right now. Um... Uh, what am I doing? Who should I talk to? I've already talked to Morgan, haven't I? Let's go talk to everybody else. Let's talk to Alistair, because, you know, he doesn't like what me much. Um, maybe we should... Actually, you know what we should do first? We should do the gifts. That's what we should do. Oh. Right, Alistair. Would you like a white runestone? I could get used to this, you know. There we go. You see, see, he likes me again now. He was, like, really not liking me because I, you know... <clears throat> threatened a priest. But he, 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 you know, a few gifts here and there and he likes me again. Uh, Morrigan, you can have a silver chain. A fine gift. You have my... Yeah, I will give her the grimoire in a minute. Uh, you can have the Rose of Orlais. I think that's all we've got for Thank her, isn't so it? Much. Uh, uh, Sten can have a water-stained portrait because he's into that I shit. Impressed. My thanks. You played an entire playthrough with only you and Morrigan? That would be a fun playthrough. That, actually, that, there's an idea. Hmm, I wonder if you could do a solo playthrough. But I feel like that would be hard, but what class were you playing as? You had to have been playing as a mage, surely. Why, why shouldn't I gift Liliana? Who would I be gifting that to? <laughs> Why shouldn't I give gifts to Liliana? 
I know I know there's a bug if you get our uh, approval up too quickly. I'm not going to romance her, though. We're not doing a lily, ro a, a lily romance. <laughs> a lily armor romance this playthrough. Uh, save that for another playthrough. Um, I've just noticed you completely missed the... Uh, the, the kitten drama that I just mentioned. Normally the moment I mention the cat, you all go crazy. I mentioned about his ear flicking. Didn't You didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <sighs> um, oh, flipping egg cat. I swear to God. You've got your bloody leg right over my keyboard. Do you have to? You're blocking half my screen, man. Oh, you glitch our companion quest if you get our approval up. That is true. That's true. Okay, we'll hold off on the uh, Chagri amulet. We don't have Ogryn yet. We don't have Severin yet. Uh, I'll tell you who we do have. We have a doggy who likes bones. Uh, right, okay. Um. Right, we'll have a wee chat with everybody. Drop a save just in case I really offend anyone. What do you need? Uh, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need this fucking cat to move so I can actually see what the dialogue options are. Um, you want to talk about Duncan? I'd like to ask you something. Okay, should we have the Duncan conversation? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep moving his ear so I can see the dialogue options. <laughs> yes, thought you might need to talk. It doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. He was like a father to you, I understand. I don't want you falling apart. What's that? I don't want you falling apart again. That does sound like the kind of thing Dora would say, doesn't it? I'm not really planning for these two to be like besties or anything, you know. Although I think I'm going to need him to do the uh, ritual with Morrigan on her. You have to be pretty high approval with him to uh, persuade him to do that. Uh, let's go down there. He was like a father to you, Root. I, I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. I shouldn't have lost him, not with so much as riding on us, not with the blight and, and everything. I'm sorry. Do you seriously I'd just suggest that I move my cat from where he has decided to sleep? That I pick him up and move him? You are a sociopath, woman. <laughs> Who moves their cat? The cat has decided where the cat is going to sleep. You do not move the cat. You respect the cat's decision. <laughs> Otherwise you pay for it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I don't need to apologise. Let's forget about it. Yeah, yeah, let's just forget about it, Alistair. You're right. This isn't really the time to mourn, is it? Not when there's so many who are still going to die unless we do something. Morning can come later. By the time the snows come, this will all be done one way or the other. Okay. I don't think I got any approval or disapproval from that. But yeah, no, it's fair enough. Um, talk to Liliana. Yes. Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> yes, that was a bit abrupt, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Let's ask about the vision. Should we ask about the vision first? Or should we work up to the vision? Hmm ask about life in the the, uh, the circle I think that's what that option is uh, life in the chantry that's it not the circle she wasn't in the circle what are you talking about quiet it was a life suited for contemplation in the cloister away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities I found peace and in that stillness I could hear the maker but it was not perfect some of my chantry fellows were condescending that is the nature of religious folk I suppose I mean, not all religious folk, some religious folk. I would know I'm related to bloody three vicars. <laughs> um, uh, on both sides of the family as well, not just one side of the family. Uh, condescending how so. They tend to be self-righteous. That's why I'm not particularly, oops, fond of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, condescending how, how so. When I talked about my beliefs, that the maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. 
He cannot possibly have love for all. The sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. <laughs> How does me being related to three vicars explain a lot? <laughs> I'm concerned about that statement. Um, um, I'll tell you what though. I tell you what's funny is walking into a pub with two vicars is one of the funniest things when they've got like the dog collar on because my auntie is a vicar and she'll always say if she needs a, she'll, if she needs anything done she'll put the dog collar on because like I know there was one time like our, our brother was at the hospital and he, he he needed something done and he was arguing with the nurses and they wouldn't do I can't remember what the story was exactly I know he was arguing with the nurses and they wouldn't do whatever it was he needed to do or something like that and he rang her and she was like don't worry I'll put the dog collar on and I'll come down and she'll come down in like the full vico garb and, and, and she was like oh it gets stuff done when people see the dog collar they just like the whole attitude changes but yeah you walk into a pub I, I, I have walked into a pub with two vicars before and it is very it's an interesting experience <laughs> Because people don't expect to see vicars in a pub. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> um, um, the other cat's turned up. You could probably hear her. Um, um, sorry, Liliana. I wasn't actually listening to what you were saying. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay. I don't really want the maker looking in on me. Anyway. What did you say to them? I prefer your ideas the ideas of the Chantry. You must earn the Maker's Blessing! It would be a weird thing for a common dwarf to say. Yeah, what did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says. And the Chantry is infallible, yes. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy. Not men. Not the Chantry. But there is work to be done. And I have talked enough for now. Okay. That didn't get me any approval either. To be fair, though, Dora is not the most diplomatic person. I don't think, like, you know, she's going to be a, a a sweet talker kind of uh, person. She talked to Wynne. Hello, darling. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Uh, <laughs> are you all right, love? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Uh, <laughs> Still some life in those old bones yet, my love. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done got cat hair on my nose and it's really annoying me you know you just can't get rid of it oh flipping neck. um i'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet don't say those things we still need to you know not if you don't good yeah i'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet in fact i know because i've read the book oh i don't know i really don't okay yes i know there's six people watching now i'm, I'm cool with it i'm just so used to it. i'm so used to being this popular now it no longer freaks me out when we get like above two you know? I mean, we were at seven at one point before we were at seven and I didn't freak out or anything. We've never hit double figures yet, though. That'll be... If we ever hit double figures, that'll be when I start, like, having panic attacks. <laughs> um, okay, we'll drop a quick save. Actually, these last streams do quite well, like, after the fact, once they've gone up. They're getting, like, you know, like, 80-odd views each, which is weird. Not what I was expecting. I didn't really expect them to do that well at all, to be honest. Um... I mean that's well that's that's good for me. Um, wouldn't be good for like you know <laughs> actual popular YouTubers. But, you know it's quite good for me. Um, we talked to everybody now. We already talked to Stan at the beginning, didn't we? And we need to give. Uh, we'll put some of our um, runes in here because we've got a lot of them and I don't have anything to put them on. So you know can have all my novice runes which I think was quite a lot and I'll regret that because then I'll I'll end up <laughs> um, by the powers you will command. sorry I'm reading the chat and I got I got distracted um yes I'll probably regret giving those runes away but never mind uh, right we'll give Morrigan our grimoire shall we I'm never sure with those, like, you know, the stuff that you can give 
different members of the army, like giving the runes to the mages and stuff like that, does it actually make them more effective in the final fight? Or is it just a way of, like, getting rid of your stuff? Because I'm never quite sure. Anyway, we'll give her the grimoire. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? But when I spoke of it to you, I did not truly hope... <gasps> this is a most fortuitous event. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. This cat has got dust in its eyebrows. Why have you got dust in your eyebrows? Where have you been? Hmm? Where have you been that you got dust in your eyebrows? He came back yesterday all covered in like spider, like cobwebs, stuff like that. It was a fucking nightmare to try and get it out of him because it just like stuck to his, um, because he's so fluffy. Uh... Uh... Right, just reading the chat. Okay, <laughs> this cat, you know when cats hear something and you don't know what it is they've heard, but they just be start staring really intently at absolutely nothing. And it's like, what are you staring at? What have you heard? I don't know. But he's staring really intently at something. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> yeah, what do you hope to find in it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Okie dokie, I'm going to get a lot of approval. Me and Morrigan are just besties. This is exactly how I hoped it would work out between Dora and Morrigan, that they would just be like soulmates from the beginning. That they would just be like, just get each other, just click 100%. Um, uh, I'm just reading the chat. Oh, did you ask me earlier if we're going to romance Dora? I'm planning on having Zevran be Dora's romance. Because I've got all of my playthroughs and characters planned out. And I realised I didn't I didn't have anybody for Zevran. Because <laughs> I find him a bit boring. Um, so, oh my god, what? What's the matter? It's the other cat meowing ahead of. Um, um... What was I saying, Zev? Yeah, I didn't have anybody romancing Zev, so I, I thought Dora can romance Zev. She can have him. <laughs> uh, but he's actually quite a difficult one to romance. You wouldn't think so, what with him being so flirty and everything. But it's actually quite hard. I mean, it's not hard to, like, sleep with him, but it's it's hard to, um, to actually, like, you know, get to the sort of meaningful part of the romance because he can he becomes quite cagey and closed off quite easily and it's actually, actually quite difficult to build approval with him. I might need to find a guide um, to, you know, make sure I do it properly. Um, uh, apparently the, do the uh, donations to the army are bugged, according to Fred, so I've just given away all of my novice runes for absolutely no reason, but it made me feel better about myself, so... Okie dokie. Um, what are we going to do now? I haven't planned this far ahead. Um, actually, I need to drop a, like, a proper save. Because I uh, put all my proper saves in. You know, so I can nip back in at any point. Uh, after circle. That'll do. Um, I do this with Mass Effect as well, so I can like nip it back in at any point of the game that I want to replay. Uh, right. I don't know. Where, where do we want to go? We could do Soldier's Peak. But I don't like doing Soldier's Peak this early. I know a lot of people say do Soldier's Peak early so that you get the storage chest. I don't really use the storage chest that much. And I certainly don't feel like I need to use it until, like, quite near the end of the game, really. I think you've got enough carry capacity and there's not that much stuff that you want to keep, really. Um... So I don't think it's worth going there early just to get the uh, the storage chest. We could do Hon Leaf and go and get Shale. That might be fun. Um, or... Uh, the storage chest can upgrade you. What? Can it? Oh, you're right, it can. You're right, it can. I know. Um, mm, uh, 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 that's a thought, I suppose. Uh, oh, we could go and do Redcliffe. Although we'd already be able to start Redcliffe, wouldn't we? I mean, we're already an hour and a half in. 
So I probably wouldn't get very far with Redcliffe. Probably want a whole live stream to start Redcliffe off. Should do Honleith. I feel like doing Honleith. Should do Honleith. Yeah, that's a good idea that you've all had. <laughs> Let's do Honleith. Who should we take with me to do Honleith? Um. Hmm. I like me two mages. Yes. I like having two mages, but then we could be controversial. And instead of taking a warrior, we take Liliana. And then I've got like three ranged people and I would be the up close one. So I would like be doubling up as a warrior. However, I do have the super cool armor. So I think I could probably handle it. Being like the, uh, the kind of joint rogue warrior person. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because we I think Anna hasn't had an outing yet, has she? And I don't think she's going to get many outings, what with me playing as a rogue. We'll take her when we can. I know you're all voting for the doggy. <laughs> oh, dear. The hound growls at the cat. Yeah, I know the hound growls at the cat. <laughs> take it, that Liana, all right? Shut up. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that'll do us. And we'll go and, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll go and talk to the merchant person. And, you know, get attacked by something on the way. I'm annoying this cat by tickling his feet. <laughs> I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be grave wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. There goes my future boyfriend. It's not the Zevran fight next, is it? No, this isn't the Zevran fight. Oh, this is the uh, the quest we picked up in the Mages Guild, isn't it? With the Conman, I think. Also, Leliana has a level up because I've not taken her anywhere yet. Uh, dexterity and cunning, my dear. Her cunning's quite low, actually, for a uh, rogue. And then you can have combat training. And we don't need lockpicking because I'm going to be the lockpickerist. So... Melee archer is probably a good idea since I think I took her uh, melee weapons off her, didn't I? So that she'll always use her bow and arrow. Because it really annoys me when they switch to the melee weapons. Because if you're, if you're, you know, making an archer character, they're never going to be as good with the melee stuff. They're always going to be better with the uh, bow and arrow. Let's be quick save. Right. Hello, me lovelies. Ah, a fellow traveller of the fair lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a toe. Strange origin. The Deus V Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. Okay, you're questioning lock. <laughs> you're questioning lock pickerist in the chat. Yeah, it's a person who picks locks, isn't it? It's a lock pickerist, <laughs> like a detectorist. Anybody ever watch Detectorists? It's on Netflix now. It was on the BBC originally, but it's it's the the, the Netflix has got it. It's fucking, I loved Detectorists. I think it already had like three seasons, but it was fucking brilliant. It's one of my favourite, like, proper chill comedies. But like, really good with uh, Mackenzie Crook and uh, Rachel Sterling. I love a bit of Rachel Sterling. I've never not liked anything that Rachel Sterling's been in. I've, I, I, I love a bit of Rachel Sterling. Uh, anyway, um, stop talking about Netflix shows. Um... <laughs> Uh, yes, you sold a few copies of the Circle Tower. I, I found them. Or I could just say, not so strange, I have five, five, five copies. That's a better one, isn't it? Ah, we'll 
the wonders of this all too small a land never cease. Well, they will for you. Get them! Uh, whoa! Chill out. All right, I was reading the chat. Timothy, hello, Timothy, has just said set Leliana's tactics to ranger. That is a very, very good idea. Well, to range, not ranger. Archer, there we go. Absolutely wonderful idea that was. I always forget to do things like that. I don't think I've set the tactics at all yet. Oh, that's the sort of thing that, like, comes up. Um, <laughs> You know, as you're playing, you're sort of thinking, oh, that would be a good tactic. Um, yes, I'm, I'm a let's play arist. <laughs> that's me. And I'm a live stream arist now. That's, that's two. That's two professions to my name. <laughs> Profession is the right word. It's probably not. Uh, okay, do a bit of dirty fighting on this lad. In fact, I'm going to let everybody take this one down, actually. Try to take him down. Take the big guy down first. Uh, win wasn't what I wanted. I wanted Morrigan. Can you do a bit of a, uh... Ooh, who set us on fire? Is there a major boat or something? Oh, there fucking is as well. What a fucking cunt. Right, um... You do a group heal. Okay. Change of plan. I want everybody attacking the mage. Because mages are... Terrifying. Uh, we don't really have, like, an incapacitate spell, do we? Because it wouldn't as grass, which doesn't always work. Liliana's been paralysed, fucking hell. Okay, that that's uh, that's not a messing about mage either. That's a decent mage. Can you uh, do a bit of a stone fist on him, please, love? Because, oh, Morrigan! Morrigan froze him before he could do whatever it was he was going to do. I have a nasty feeling he was about to do um, uh, chain lightning. Yeah, he's trying to do chain lightning, the uh, arsehole. There we go. That would have flipped and killed us then. Right, okay. I mean, Liliana's already dead. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Liliana. <laughs> Maybe the dog would have been a better uh, bet. Uh, uh, Wind's helping to keep it all alive. Wind's not been attacked down there, is she? No. That's good. All the bad guys have followed us. And they're all down. Excellent. Uh, that mage didn't even have anything on him. What an awesome. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to try and kill us with chain lightning, at least have the decency to drop something that we can loot afterwards. Um. Yeah, so that's that uh, quest wrapped up. Basically, he was just a con man and we killed him. That was the quest. That was the extent of the quest. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, always attack the mages first. That is a good tactic in uh, Dragon Age. I just didn't realise he was there. It's the problem. Right, okay. So... All right, all right. Head and talk to this uh, merchant person. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello, Felix. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now, what do I do? Uh, uh, part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur, at your service. I mean, I didn't actually ask, but okay. Uh, yeah, what are you doing out here? I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping the fellow out? <clears throat> um, yeah. How should I, how can I help you out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Oh, Fred's turning against me here over the dog. I'm losing him. I'm losing him, guys. <laughs> Gonna have a rebellion on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. It's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. 
That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Okay. Um, how much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Hmm. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll take it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honlit. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Okay, if not, I'll be back. Alright, well, uh, oh, then I really hope it works. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Okay. There we go, and we'll just grab ourselves some elf fruit while we're here, because why not, eh? Why not grab the elf fruit and the death fruit as well? Right. So. Head to hold me up. Ah, I've got a time to get. Is this going to be the Zevran fight? This might be the Zevran fight. Oh, this is totally the Zevran fight. leliana has got an injury as well, hasn't she? Uh, yes, she has. And she doesn't have any of our things set, does she? Because I've never taken her anywhere. And we're really short on the old health potions. I'd forgotten about that. I think Hondleaf's not too difficult, is it? I don't think we need that many health potions for Hondleaf. We've got a lot of injury kits all of a sudden. There we go. And Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attack the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay. I'm having to sit so awkwardly in this chair just because of how this cat is arranged himself. <laughs> Just sitting there looking at me like, yeah, deal with it, man. Just gonna have to work around me, aren't you? Uh, okay. Head along here to this totally not trap. Hello. I see a trap. Oh, Dora saw a trap. <laughs> she saw the trap before we even got into the trap. He's so bloody over dramatic about it. Okay. Uh, it's the traveller who's the mage, isn't it? So, I can't see my flipping taskbar or skill bar, whatever you call it. Because there's a cat in the way. Put your head down. Put your head down. Down. Put your head down. No, 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 no. Need your head down so that I can see things. Put your head. Putty, I swear to God. I'm going to throw you out the window in a minute. I am. Should I throw you out the window? Eh? Should I throw you out the window? Should I, yeah. Yeah. Should I throw you out the window? Yeah. Eh? Throw you out the window. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Um, if this cat ever fucking moves. Right. I think that's acid flask, is it? Put an acid, acid flask over there. I'm going to let Win. Um... You know what? Forget about win for a minute because I can't see anything. Uh, Morrigan, you can do like a winter's grasp, and then hopefully win should automatically do a stone fist, right? So long as the winter's grasp works. Liliana, you just fire arrows at her. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. Okay, how's the mage? I think. Um, yeah, everybody just attack her, really. Everybody just attack her. I know she's marked as Traveller, but she's definitely a mage, right? Actually, there's a leg hole trap there that popped up briefly. We'll uh, go and disarm that first, in case anybody accidentally steps into it. Um, oh, the Traveller went down. Okay, that's good. We can all attack Zevran. Zevran isn't, isn't even, like, marked in yellow. Like, he's just so pathetically useless. Look at him. There we go. Down he goes. And then... 
Oh, wind's being a bit stabbed. That's unfortunate. If I could see where your stone fist ability was, I would let you stone fist him. There we go. Stone fist him. <laughs> um, uh, there we go. And, oh, they're all marked as travellers, are they? You think they'd be marked as, like, I don't know, assassins or mercenaries or something like that? Win! Can you heal people, please? If you could heal Dorabella, that would be amazing. Since that's like your entire job. Okay, and we just need to take care of the archers. Now oh, there's traps over here though, isn't there? Whoops! I spotted the trap and I still walked into it. <laughs> Luckily it caught one of the assassins as well. Okay, I'll let you take out that trap. Take out that trap. And then take out this trap. And then... I think that's it so far. Okay. Uh, I know there's ones around the other side as well, but... Oh, they're, they're all ranged. They they shouldn't have any particular reason to go running um, anywhere. Whoops! There's another trap. Uh, there's a fake Liliana! <laughs> that's like, yeah, evil... Mirror Universe Liliana or something. Um, oh, God. Right, uh, 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 which option is the wake him up option? Wake him up and talk to him. Sorry, I can't see because there's a cat in the way. Wake him up and talk to him. Mm. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Okay, that could easily be rectified. killed me however you must have kept me alive for some purpose yes you know my favorite bit about cats like the bit of them that i think is the cutest you know they've got cute little ears uh you, yes you can kill zevron um they've got cute little ears and they've got cute little paws and they've got cute little tails and cute little noses i think the best the most cutest bit of a cat is their little chins just good such cute little chins haven't they they're cute little chins I wonder if I pester this cat I know he'll fuck off. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like he's going to. He keeps trying to go to sleep and then I just keep like pestering him. Hey, you want a good chin scratch? Yeah. Good chin scratch. Like 90% of this live stream is just going to be me talking to you, Scorpio. Hey, We should just forget about Dragon Age and just turn this into a cat live stream. Probably get more views on it anyway. <laughs> um, um, uh, eh, heh, 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 heh. Okay, you seem awfully glib for a prisoner. <laughs> it is my way, or so I am told. Let's see then. I assume you kept me alive to ask me some questions, yes? If so, let me save you time and get right to the point. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antiven Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Uh, what are the Antiphon Crows? I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. Very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the Crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. I mean, I'm from Orzammar, awesome so, you know, um, not for being good assassins, I see. You came all the way from Tyria, who hated to kill us. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah, not for being good assassins, I see. Oh, fine. Is that what you Fereldens do? Mock your prisoners? <laughs> Such cruelty. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Uh, Severin can betray you, really? I, f I feel like, when does he betray you? Is it like during his quest? Like in Denerim where those crows turn up. I'm just trying to think because now that you've said that, that is tickling something in the back of my head about Severin betraying you. Can't actually remember. And his approval is surprisingly difficult to get up, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, when were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Loghain of the results. If he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead. Or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. If you had failed! <laughs> what can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? Okie dokie. Zephyrin was actually the first um, romance I ever did in Origins in my first ever playthrough of Romance Zephyrin. But in my defence, I was like 14 and had no taste. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I, I romanced Zevran in uh, Origins, and then I romanced Fenris in Dragon Age Two. Yeah, I can't remember who my first romance was in uh, Inquisition. I don't I don't find any of the Inquisition ones really that interesting, apart from Iron Bull. It's like the only one I was really that interested in. Which is weird because I know there's like loads in Inquisition, like much more than there is in any of the other games, and just none of them really interest me particularly. Um. Uh, yeah, how much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Uh, <laughs> useless pretty boy, a typical 14-year-old choice. Yeah, that was pretty it. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, 14 years old, I just liked, you know, handsome, sexy elves. I hadn't discovered women at that point either. <laughs> um, um, uh, will you put your head down, cat? Jesus Christ. Put your head down. Put your head down. Put your head down. Seriously, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Head da, da, down. Down. Da, no, no, he's put his head further up. He's a rebel. Um, um, I think that one says, does that mean you're loyal to Loghain? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Uh, oh, oh, the cat's moving. Are you going? Oh my god, he's gone. Guys, he's gone. He's sitting on the floor. He's licking his tail. He's chewing on something. He's sniffing the carpet. I'm just waiting to see if he's going to jump back up again. Oh, he's lying down. I think we might be safe. He's just biding his time. I think he's going to wait until I least expect it and jump back up again. No, I think we might be safe. I'm going to tentatively put the keyboard back on the desk. Oh, he's moved further out of the room now. Okay, everybody, you just act cool, all right? Act cool. Um, um, uh, I'm just reading the chat, talking about romances. Who has ended up with Morrigan? I've actually never done Morrigan's romance, you know? Weirdly. I Partly because I play as female characters more often. Um, I just like the kind of bestie kind of relationship that you get with her. Um, I just like being our best mate, you know. Um, and sometimes like a best friend kind of relationship that you can have with a character is, is too good and you don't want to ruin it. It's a bit like that with like Cassandra as well in uh, Inquisition. I don't think I would ever romance Cassandra. Um, but I am going to do the, the, uh, the Morrigan romance. Um... And the, the Leliana romance is definitely the one I've done, like, the most times. And then the Severin one. I only, I only did it when I was a, a teenager with, yeah, no no taste. Um, okay, now that you've filled out the surface, why are you telling me all this? Um, I'll be honest, Zev, I've forgotten what you've said. <laughs> okay, so now that you've failed at that service. Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. Okay, and between you and me, my friend... That's what we're establishing now. 
Okay, and why are you telling me all this? Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Uh, uh, okay, are you loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Okay, yes, I'm listening, make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. Uh, can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? What's to stop you from finishing the job later? You must think I'm royally stupid. What you want in return? Why would I want your service? Yeah, what do you want in what, blah, 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 blah. what do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Okay, can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. Oh, here comes the stop story. <laughs> the only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Won't they come after you? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? Okay, sure, I accept your offer. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. <laughs> I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Yeah, we go. I've just realized we had old girls with us when uh, we recruited Zevra. That's probably like a dream come true for him. Anyway, we, uh, we don't want him with us right now. Morgan disapproves, but that's alright. We're already mates. I think we can handle a bit of disapproval. Ooh, there's a letter. Oh yeah, that's the Friends of Red Jenny, isn't it? We've already got the little box thing for the Friends of Red Jenny, haven't we? From the Circle Tower? Right. Just uh, loot all of this. We can head to Hodenleaf. Uh, I haven't yet planned how we're going to resolve Hodenleaf. I don't think Dora's the type who's going to start like making deals with demons and whatnot. I think that's really going to be her sort of thing. Uh, I think she's quite, you know, quite a straightforward character. Like, Constance was quite a uh, complicated character. Um, um, you know, so she would sometimes do kind of dark things because she was sort of complicated and tortured and... You know, she was that kind of character. Whereas Dora's going to be quite a straightforward kind of character. Sort of blunt. And she's sometimes going to do terrible things as well, but more out of a kind of practical thing than anything else, if that makes sense to anybody other than me. Right, anyway! <laughs> Head to Hornleaf. Uh... Uh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh. Hey, I'm knackered. Been up at half two. Two days in a row. These bloody four o'clock shifts at work. Takes out of us. Back to be normal shifts though the rest of the week. He was talking like he wanted me doing uh, four o'clock starts all week, but then he's only put me in for today and tomorrow, so you know. It'll be fine. Uh, there's some villagers running away. Hello, villagers! Okay, villagers. Bye, villagers! <laughs> oh, there's some dead villagers. How nice is that? Okay, should we kill some dogs, Bon? 
feel like we haven't actually done much of that yet, considering we're, you know, Grey Wardens. Well, I'm a Grey Warden. The rest of them are Grey Wardens. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of having to try and be the, uh, the warrior here, since I haven't brought one with work, but you know. That's fine, I can be a warrior. Kinda. <laughs> oh my god, Fred, shut up about the dogma. <laughs> And Fred's friendship might not be repairable after this, I fear. I feel I've offended him too much. <laughs> not bringing the dog. <laughs> um, uh, kill them all, yells Dorabella. I couldn't agree more. Okay. These are all just low level ones, aren't they? Nothing to be too worried about. It's a good day to die, for heaven's sake, Dora. <laughs> Dora's like half Klingon. <laughs> um. Uh, Win, could you heal me, please? Like you're supposed to. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know if I brought the dog along, I would have a warrior. Jesus, shut up. <laughs> oh dear. I promised to bring the dog along on a different mission at some point, all right? Take him to the Brazilian forest. I quite like doing that. Because I like the way the uh, Zathrian reacts to him. Uh, um, where else could we take him? Take him to Haven, maybe. That would be quite interesting. Uh, definitely take him to Ostagar, because I like to take, like, everybody who was at Ostagar to Ostagar, so that's, like, Win Alistair and the dog. Uh, although that's not, like, the best team tactically, but, you know, story-wise, it's a great team. Oh, I've been stunned. That's not fair. I was looking at the chat. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for more dog comments. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm expecting him to absolutely rip me apart. <laughs> uh... Uh, no, I haven't taken no game to Ostagar yet either. <sighs> I'm gonna do that at some point. I've got, uh, we can't open Olaf's chest yet, can we? Yeah, I've got all my playthroughs, like, planned out. It's actually quite difficult, because I want to get, like, pretty much every kind of ending, sort of. I always say every ending, but not every, com uh, every outcome, but not every combination of outcomes is what I always now say that I'm trying to do with the Dragon Age project. So I've got them all planned out, but it's quite difficult, because you're sort of like, oh, I, you know, I, th there are certain things you need, like, you need to have, um, the... Morrigan's ritual completed with Alistair, with the Warden, and with Loghain, right? So those are three possible outcomes. And then you need um, Ferelden ruled by Anora on her own, Anora married to Alistair, Anora married to the Warden, Alistair married to the Warden, or Alistair on his own. Like, that's five. And then... What else is there? Um, hang on, I've got my bloody notebook next to me, yep. Yeah? Um, what else did I write in it? Oh yeah, and then there's like a difference between whether you have a softened Alistair, Alistair on the throne or a hardened Alistair on the throne. Um, and I mean, to get every single outcome, you would have to have things like you'd have to have a warden married to Alistair who's actually in love with Alistair, and then you'd have to have a, a warden married to Alistair but has Leliana as a lover, and then a warden who's married to Alistair and has Zevran as a lover. Like, you could never have every single one. Um, not in just, like, eight playthroughs. Oh, yeah, and then you've got, like, who slays the Archdemon. You have to have a one where, like, the warden dies slaying the Archdemon, a one where Alistair dies slaying the Archdemon, and a one where Loghain dies slaying the Archdemon. And it's like, uh, there was one thing I had to sacrifice, but I can't remember what it was. I think it's that I don't have one where Loghain dies slaying the Archdemon. Because it's difficult to get the right combinations because obviously like i was doing things like oh well because you have to you also like you can't have Loghain and alistair as a companion so i was some i was looking at some characters and thinking like oh well i'll have him marry alistair off to anora but i'll also have him spare Loghain. and then i was like no i can't do that because you can't do both <laughs> and things like oh well that's that'll be the one where i'll have Loghain 
die slaying the Archdemon and he can do the ritual with Morrigan. And then I'm like, no, because then he wouldn't die when he slayed the Archdemon. So it was actually quite a logistical nightmare to get all of the uh, possible outcomes in only eight playthroughs. Um, I would have, like to do all of them. I'd have to do like fucking the 35 playthroughs or something like that. Um, <laughs> um, uh, shut up about the friggin' dog, Fred. I swear to God. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a bit, bit of a logistic. And of course I ruined it by going off script for Constance's play because Constance was meant to die killing the Archdemon. That was how her story was supposed to end. She was supposed to romance Liliana and then like have quite a dark playthrough. But then at the end of the story, rather than taking Morrigan's dark ritual, she was going to be, no, actually, I'm going to come good now. I'm going to be pure. I'm not going to resort to dark magic for once in my life. You know, I'm going to stay strong and resist the dark magic. And then she sacrifices herself, killing the Archdemon. And then that kind of explains why Liliana is so miserable in Inquisition. That was like the whole story. And then the Liliana romance didn't kind of work out. So I romanced Alistair instead. And then I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have her and Alistair kind of like stay together and be wardens together? <laughs> So I went down that route and did the dark ritual. So, you know, so then suddenly I needed one of the other ones to be the one who dies killing the Archdemon. And it was just, so that kind of like messed up the original plan a little bit. So I cannot afford to go off script again. All of these playthroughs have to go as I've planned them. Um, but there are certain things that I can be a bit more lax with, like, you know, how the, uh, the um, Circle Tower is resolved and stuff like that. Missions where there's only two outcomes, I can be a bit more lenient. Um, like, you know, I haven't actually decided how, what Dorabella is going to do about the elves or about Orzammar or anything like that. We'll just figure that out as we go. Um, but like for the ending and stuff, I've had to be quite strict with planning what's going to happen. Um, uh, Just read in the chat. Okie dokie. So. Uh, I'll head up here and kill these darkspawn. Oh, we've got an alpha. We've got an alpha. Let's throw a bit of an acid flask. I always forget about the acid flasks. I forget about the poison as well. I could be putting poison on man. I've probably got so much friggin' poison and I'm not using any. There we go. There's shale in the background. Uh, get this alpha down. This is going a bit badly all of a sudden, isn't it? Right, okie dokie. So, win. can you do a bit of a group heal to get Dora and Morrigan up and then give Dora some health? Dora's getting a bit swamped and dying quite easily here. Since she's playing the role of the woman. Should have brought the dog, really, should I? <laughs> um, I'm going to take out this genlock before he kills anybody. There we go. And the rest of them should be quite easy. Yeah, we're just ripping them apart then. Ripping them apart. <sighs> oh, look at that taking out his ankles. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, you just keep hitting his ankles, love. He can't live without his ankles. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Is that all of them? That's all of them. Unlock this chest. Uh... All right, Fred, I should have brought the dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> um, bloodied bronze key. Uh, and then this note over here. I love this note. I'm going to read this note. I think I did. I do a video on Honleaf. I don't know if I did one that actually got uploaded. I know I did a test one that I, I like 
when I very, very, very first started recording videos, I did a test one and it was hot bleep and I sent it to my brother. Or I was going to send it to him. Maybe I didn't even send it to him, actually. Maybe I just watched it myself. <sighs> I know I did it, though. But I don't know if I then ever did want actually properly uploaded to the channel. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to read this note because this note's hilarious. I love this note. Got it. Okay. A note from the Honleith Village Council. Okay. Mistress Matilda, the council has unanimously agreed to put you in charge of the decorations for Honleith's upcoming Harvest Festival. We all adored what you did with the village for the winter solstice. As usual, the statue must be adorned with items that capture the essence of the season. Iris kindly offered the use of her wide-brimmed straw hat with the berries and daisies and would love to see it on the statue. Farmer Goodman also will also donate some of his baby pumpkins. We think a garland of small pumpkins and ribbons draped around the statue's shoulders would be lovely. Whatever you decide will be splendid, I'm sure we're all looking forward to it, Councilman Murray. <laughs> I love that. I wish I wish when you uh, woke Shale up like she actually had a white brimmed hat on with berries and flowers. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um especially if like you could actually like equip it on a and it, it gave her like, I don't know, plus to dexterity or something like that. That would be amazing. <laughs> um uh, no, apparently I haven't done a Hornleith episode. Maybe I should do a Hornleith episode. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, although, I don't know. I think now that I'm doing the live streams, I think I'm, when I do Dragon Age videos, I'm going to more focus on, like, um, you know, tutorial -y type stuff. Uh, I have an idea, because most of, like, my tutorial videos aren't really tutorial videos. They're just Let's Plays, like the uh, Unlocking Blood Magic and stuff like that. And they do get comments on them saying, yeah, it would have been better if it was a bit, like, shorter and more to the point. Um, Got it. So I'm thinking of doing ones that are maybe just, like, rather than playthroughs, just, you know, more kind of, like, voiceovers type thing. Uh, and then these live streams can be the playthroughs, the Let's Plays, whatever. Um... A basket of bird seed here. The basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seeds seem to have been scattered about to attract the birds. Oh, Shale. I mean, look at that. Shale is the height of me. I mean, I know she's got one leg bent and everything, but <laughs> she's teeny tiny. She's an itty bitty golem. Hello, Shale. Oh, oh. hello, Shale. The statue appears to be inert. Continue. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. There may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise. On closer inspection, it appears to be a golem like those few that remain in Ozma, but obviously damaged and corroded by inactivity. Oh yeah, Dora will know about this shit, won't it? Because she's a dwarf. Although she's a common dwarf who drew, grew up in Dust Town. She might not be like, you know, as versed on the history of Ozma. Uh, yeah, let's try and activate the golem. Nothing happens, apparently. Either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. Oh no, that's terrible! Uh, uh, okay, so... Uh, yes, I also prefer longer meandering videos, but not everybody does. When people click on like a video that totes itself as a tutorial video, they kind of expect a tutorial video, don't they? Not like a Let's Play Masquerading as a tutorial video, which is what a lot of my early ones were. Um, I think actually on the Blood Magic one, I got like a really uppity comment. I can't remember what it said exactly, but I remember it made me laugh. It was like ages and ages ago I got this. It was something like... It, it, very, it was a very snooty comment about how the video should, should have been shorter. Um, can't remember what it said exactly, but I know it made me laugh. Um, anyway, head in here. Uh, ooh, strange crystal cluster. What could possibly be in here? All right, all right. Small flawed natural crystal. Uh, I love it when Dora goes, all right, all right, like that. Like, who's she talking to? Honestly. But what am I? Does she know that I'm here? Does she know that I'm controlling her? Am I a voice in her head? Oh my goodness. Because like when the others say things like that, 
Oh, they're not going to do it, are they? Sometimes when you click on them, they say things, and when you ask them to do things, they say things. And, and it's like they're probably talking to Dora Bella, because Dora Bella's like the one who's told them to do it. But when when I ask Dora Bella to do things, and she's like, yeah, all right, I'm getting to it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back and all of that kind of stuff? It's like, who is she talking to? Do the others acknowledge this? Are they aware that she talks to a strange person in her head who controls her? <laughs> oh, we're breaking the fourth wall here. Uh, okay. Head in here. Hello! Um, throw an acid flask at you. Boop. And run in. The acid doesn't harm me, does it? I don't think it does. Uh, I mean, I suppose it would if I was in the radius when I threw it. Uh, <laughs> um, just reading the chat. Yeah, I am the maker. Actually, maybe that's, maybe that's actually the thing. The player is the maker. Because they've said, haven't they, that the, the writers, although I know that like none of the writers are there anymore. <laughs> In fact, they've fired like a load of them recently, haven't they? Um, um, uh, yeah, they, they said that they would like never reveal whether the maker existed or not, or who the maker was or anything like that. But maybe, actually, maybe it's the player is the maker. That kind of makes sense, right? Sort of. Um, I also like the idea that, like, technically Solus is the maker, really, isn't he? Because the world as it exists today, I mean, not like the world that existed before it, but the world that, you know, we know with, you know, the fade and the veil and all of that stuff, only exists because of Solus. Technically, Solus is the maker, and he's also the one who wants to kill everybody. And it's the same in um, Mass Effect, actually. It's, it's quite a common theme in Bioware games. Because the Reapers, technically, when you think about it, they've been manipulating the evolution of the galaxy for so long that nobody actually knows how any of those races would have evolved naturally. Or even if they would have had the chance to evolve if all of the ones that came before them hadn't been wiped out by the Reapers. So basically everybody in the Mass Effect universe kind of owes their existence to the Reapers, and yet the Reapers are the one who want to wipe them out. And everybody in the Dragon Age universe owes their current existence to Solus, and Solus wants to wipe them all out. Interesting, really, isn't it, when you think about it? Anyway, I don't know if that's, like, deliberate, <laughs> or if it's just a coinky-dink. Um, there we go. We have a lot of sort of game-based philosophical, uh, philosophical, philosophical comments, haven't we? And it's uh, mostly by me, <laughs> not by anybody else. <laughs> Nobody else is interested in the philosophy. They're just like, well, you just play the fucking game, love. <laughs> um, uh, we do a bit of a group heal. Mariana's actually like our weakest uh, party member, I think, actually. She's the one who seems to keep dying, Nelly. Should have brought the dog. That's what we've learned. Should have brought the dog. <laughs> the player being the maker would explain why the maker has long absences. The player maker was bored and doing something else. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah, the maker has left us. She's gone to play Assassin's Creed or something like that. <laughs> that does make sense. The maker has left us. She unfortunately had to go to work. <laughs> all right, all right. That's better than later. Um... Anyway, uh, ooh, that's a lot of cobwebs. You know what? What? Uh, but, but, uh, 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 what was I trying to say? You know what giant cobwebs mean? Giant spiders. Except they don't in this case, because there aren't any giant spiders in here. Uh, but there we go. And some leather armor in a lock chest. Yeah, I think it's funny that the lock chest, because there's, you know, always a good chance that you won't be able to unlock them, they don't really put good stuff in them. But it just makes it seem like everybody puts their really good stuff in unlock chests and all of their really shit stuff in lock chests. <laughs> makes no sense, really, does it? Um... <laughs> um, genius philosophical theory. Is that serious or is that a bit tongue-in-cheek there? Is that a bit of sarcasm? <laughs> um... Uh, right, okay, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Um, ooh, there's tree roots growing through the ceiling. That's interesting. Oh, and through here as well. Oh, and they've put little things up to try and hold the wall up because the trees are growing through. 
These are things that you notice when you're commenting on a video, commentating on a video. Because you're trying to find things to talk about and you just end up noticing things that you don't normally notice. Like just like in the design of a level. Because you're just looking for things to talk about and you're just like, oh my god, look, there's a tree growing through the ceiling and there's a tree growing through here. And they're obviously holding the wall up. See, I would never notice that when I'm just playing normally. Anyway. Um, oh, he's got a stake through the heart there. Dear me. That's not pleasant at all. Ooh, but we've got some alcohol. Never say no to alcohol. Wait, no, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Magpie says, never say no to alcohol. Luckily, she doesn't have enough su subscribers to uh, be relevant, so you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, there's people who want to kill us, apparently. Oh, that's a lot of dogs born. Hello! Um... <laughs> Uh, right, okay. This fight can get a bit nasty as far as I remember. Um, oh, it's because of him, it's because it's a fucking emissary, although at the minute he's not focusing on us, which is good. Um, he's going to be in a minute because we're about to uh, attack him. I keep forgetting to use my hexes. Right, use all your hexes, Morgan. Uh, there we go. All the hexes live in Texas. I can never resist saying that joke whenever I say all the hexes. <laughs> all I can think of. Who live in Texas. <laughs> oh, you know, from the song, right? From the song, you get it. You get me joke. You get me really clever wordplay joke, right? <laughs> that song always reminds me of playing far too much GTA San Andreas when I was like 12 years old or however old I was. Definitely too young to be playing GTA, but I, I was playing GTA 3 when I was like six, you know, it was really bad. <laughs> Really bad. That's not even an exaggeration. I really was that young. Um, everybody, uh, take out the emissary, please. But seriously, all of the songs that were on the radio stations on GTA San Andreas, whenever they come on, I just all I think of is San Andreas because I used to play it that much, like so much, like to death. And then I stopped playing it for years and years and years, and I went back a couple of years ago to play it, just you know, like re, like you know, have a spark of nostalgia. I was like, oh, I'll play San Andreas. And I, w I played it for like a few days and I was like, oh my god, it is so boring. <laughs> there is nothing to do. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> One of those things that you really enjoyed as a teenager, but you should never go back as an adult because it just ruins it for you. Um, uh, use your lightning since you've got your lightning mittens on. Makes your lightning more effective. Do a bit of life drain. Just want to get the emissary done before he does anything nasty. There we go, he's down. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> do a bit of a cold of cold on these guys. Uh... <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, wind's dying, that's unfortunate. Do a bit of a group heal, love, because we're all a bit, you know, we can all do with a bit of the health juice. And then... I haven't used her mana drain yet, have I? Um, I'm assuming you can't drain mana from people who aren't magic, right? Yeah, it has to be a spell casting target. Need to remember that I've got it. Right, um, there's not really much she can do. You can do an arcane bolt. See if uh, Morrigan can do something to stop this guy killing you. There we go, she's frozen. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Nearly got them all. Nearly got them all. And down he goes. Okie dokie. Now there's people over there, but we'll not talk to them yet. We've got a decades old letter to read first. Decades old letter. Madam! I can assure you, don't you hate being called madam? I despise being called madam. If you're ever in like an even slightly fancy restaurant and they call you madam. Oh, fuck, it drives me mad. Like I'm not a madam, just call us like love or something. I like being called love. Different colors, madam. Sounds too posh. Anyway, <laughs> it 
sorry, little rant there. Um, Madam, I can assure you that the Circle of Magi is not a sacrilegious institution, and that indeed we operate under the supervision of the Chantry. It would make our investigation of your husband's death much easier if you would simply cooperate with us. I am disappointed to hear that you sold the Golem's activation rod. I understand both it and your husband were of invaluable aid to King Marek during the war against Orlay. Without the rod, we cannot discern whether Willem's Golem was responsible for his murder. The Golem will simply have to remain where it is unless the villagers can find a means to destroy it. Our condolences to you and your son for your loss. I imagine it is of little consolation to you. But your husband is much admired here and will be missed. May he keep you. This enchanter Alden. Now, does Willem turn up in the prequel books? Uh, Stolen Throne. Does he turn up in that? With Shale? Because I had it in my head, I was completely convinced that he turned up in Stolen Throne as, like, the mage with Shale, right? And then I looked it up in the wiki and there was absolutely no mention of it whatsoever. And I was like, did I imagine it? But then I couldn't be bothered to go back and read the book to find out. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, anyway. Uh go and loot all of this stuff and then we'll talk to the villagers hello villagers i'm not ignoring you i'm just you know looting uh... <laughs> still going on about that hound fred i mean all right i admit it i was wrong okay i should have brought the doggy you were right i'm sorry <laughs> Ooh, glowing crystal large flawed natural crystal we'll have a bit of that and also a cage Suspended above some spikes. Not suspicious at all. Okay, hello people. By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the band, were you? To save us. Uh I don't anybody thought you were still alive. I wasn't sent by anybody. I'm a Grey Warden. I'm looking for whoever. Oh, that statue outside. Yeah, let's cut straight to the statue. The statue outside? Why would Oh I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. Damnable Gollum brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance. Uh, killed your father? What do you mean? You're saying the Gollum is defective? Is it dead? It's just standing out there. It's deactivated, I think. I don't really know. It's been like that ever since the day my father died. My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the god, the the uh, the god, the rod doesn't actually work, love. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale acted again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? How do you even know she's still alive? What killed this man who went after her? How about you tell me the phrase now? Oh, should we see if we can intimidate him? I don't think it'll work, but we could try. And and then what will happen to Amalia? No. I won't tell you. I don't care what you do. If you want that bloody golem, then find my little girl. <sighs> okay, I will see what I can do. Yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank the maker. My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay. <laughs> Nobody disapproved of me for threatening him. Okay, that's interesting. Um, This next bit might get a bit interesting, because I've just remembered. 
something, but we'll we'll talk about it when we actually get there. This is a lot of fucking cobwebs, Jesus Christ. Especially since I know there's no spiders. Uh, are we gonna get attacked? Oh, oh, I can hear the screeching. Screeching's always a good sign, right? <laughs> I'm sure screeching's a good sign. Uh, here, there's a corpse. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's like a happy corpse. I'm sure he died happily. He was really happy to die down here. And here they come. That's a shade. That's a shade. That's a shade. Dust wraith. With their giant weird mouth things down the side. I love the design of the dust wraiths. Um, did they ever appear in Dragon Age 2? I can't remember because I'm pretty sure they don't appear in Inquisition. I just think they're really cool. Right, everybody go after the dust wraith. I want to see if you can freeze it. Lil, just like put your arrows in it, love, please. Uh, oh, you didn't manage to freeze it, Morrigan man. What do I pay you for? I don't think I pay her. Do you think I pay her? I probably don't pay her. <laughs> in a cone of coal. There we go. That's what we want. And then win. I want to make sure that you don't put a um, stone fist in the wrong person. You never want to accidentally fist the wrong person, do you? Um, uh, I was really trying not to giggle when I said that, but I just can't. I can't. <laughs> I cannot not giggle at my own terrible jokes. <laughs> um, there we go. Right, it should be quite easy from here on in. Shades aren't that hard, are they? I don't think shades are that hard. Um... He got paralysed briefly there. That must be me, yeah. Uh, me old paralysis stick that I've got. Me stabby paralysis knife. Uh, there's a book. Book. Oh, the Journal of Enchanter Willem. I think that one's quite long. We'll not bother reading that one. Uh, I've been going for nearly two and a half hours, you know. Um... <laughs> I knew the fisted joke would get something from you. The chat had been a bit quiet for a few minutes there. I was like, I've got to give them something to work with here. <laughs> um, uh, let's get these old crystals. <clears throat> um, uh, right, let's head in here. That's a girl talking to a cat. Perfectly normal thing to do. I talk to cats all the time. <laughs> oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. She have an Australian accent just slightly. That's interesting. Um, yes, we. Who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Cat finds me distracting. Uh, yeah, I think cats kind of like to be distracted, to be honest. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Uh huh. Um, does this technically count as in-game kitten drama? Just asking. Um, yeah, the cat talks. Of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Uh, I don't think talking with creatures is safe, Amalia. Right, what well, are you really? Yeah, what are you really? I am a cat, really. Okay. Nothing you will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I mean, to be fair, I'm still not 100% convinced it's a demon. Because, you know, cats do just genuinely have that kind of power over people. It's just like, you put a cat in front of somebody, and it's like, yes, I love only this cat now. I will never love anything else in the world more than I love this cat. <laughs> it's just the effect cats have. <laughs> um, I'm not leaving without the girl. What have you done to her? I don't really care what you do with the girl. Strangely, finds you very interesting. No, we don't find the demon interesting. We're not going down that route. Yeah, what have you done to her? Her company is 
welcome. Ah. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Um, two seconds. I'm just, you know, checking my emails as you do. Um, <laughs> right. Um, okay. Now, this um, conversation could go badly very, very easily. Um, because if you just refuse to cooperate with the demon whatsoever, it possesses the girl and you have to kill it and the girl dies. Um, and it's really easy to do accidentally. Um, to actually save Amalia, you have to kind of play along with the demon and pretend you're going to release it and then, you know, either let it go um, or... Can you let it go without it possessing Amalia? I can't actually remember. I don't think you can. But like you can you can play along and pretend you're going to give it its freedom and then attack it beforehand. But the game doesn't really make that clear. So if you just say I don't make deals with demons, the girl ends up dying. But from a role play point of view, I don't think Dora is the kind of person who would like play along with the demon with, you know, the 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 few, the, the plan being to like actually, you know, attack it later. Dora's more kind of stabby than that she's just gonna be like I, I, i'm not making a fucking deal with you i'm just gonna stab you and then like the girl dies and then it's like shit that wasn't meant to happen i just feel like that's kind of more the sort of thing um that dora would do I, that feels more right for her character doesn't it um Oh yes, you can get the demon to possess the father as well, but I've, I've never actually figured out how to do that. But I know it's an option because it's in the Dragon Age Keep, but I don't actually remember how to... Or I don't actually know how to do that. I've never managed to do it. And apparently I missed the option to play along already. Did I? Maybe I did. Um, um, yes, let you have the girl. Do you mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. Merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Okay, no, we do have the persuade lie option there, so we can do the uh, I'll free you and you can have the girl. Well, I don't even know if my coercion's high enough to actually uh, do that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Dora's not like that. She's not the kind to sort of like play mind games and try and, you know play along with the demon and all of that kind of stuff. She would just be like, no, I'm just going to kill you, man. Uh, so yeah, it's wrong. But Kitty wants it. Then you reject my proposal? Uh, um, yeah, I reject your proposal. No, Kitty! You will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. <laughs> Hello, love. Yeah, it's quite a dark quest, this. And it's, like, really, really easy to do that completely accidentally. And I love it when you can accidentally just, like, fuck things up in a game. I love that. When you, like, have the best of intentions and it just doesn't work out. She's frozen Morrigan, which is a good call on her part because Morrigan kind of the one I'm relying on to take care of all these rage demons. Okay, everybody focus on the demon because I think she can probably heal the other demons. Desire demons could usually heal, can't they? So everybody take on the demon. Morrigan, I need you to be unfrozen, please. Thank you. I'm going to let you do a bit of a cone of cold. See if you can get both of them. You might be able to. Hey, there we go. And uh, Oh, that actually takes down loads of their health as well. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, stop freezing, Morrigan. Jesus Christ, Dora's dead. That's wonderful. Um, Wayne, can you do a group heal? Please try and save Morrigan. Fuck me. Um, 
I need Morrigan. I need Morrigan alive and well and not frozen. Morrigan, please unfreeze yourself. Fucking Nora. Right, okay, 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 okay. Morrigan, take a health. Take a, take, take, take a proper health potion. There we go. I need you alive. And now she's bloody freezing wind. Where is she? There she is. What a freaking... Um, I need some way of incapacitating her. I don't suppose Winter's Grasp is going to work on her, is it? No, I didn't think it would. Um, Use a cone of cold. We should be able to get, like, all three of them once it's re... Uh, 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 come off cooldown. That's what I was looking to say. There we go. And then... Use your special lightning skills and we've got Kitty down. Yay! Not all of them? That's all of them. Excellent. Uh, Okie dokie. <coughs> Oops, accidentally paused the game. Ah, and we get the Helm of Honleith. Do you get the Helm of Honleith if you let her go? I don't think you do. Helm of Honleith's really good as well. The Court of Shattered Dreams, three willpower and ten mental resistance. Very nice. Very nice. I'll let Morrigan and Wynn fight over that. <laughs> and it means we didn't have to do the stupid puzzle. <laughs> fucking hate that fucking puzzle. Um, Okie dokie. So, actually I'm going to put the Helm of Onleith on if I can. Yeah, because it's plus two to all attributes, man. That's friggin' amazing. And it's got wings. Dora actually looks really good in that. Really good. Um... And who should we give the uh, the belt to? Three willpower and ten mental resistance. Oh, that's way better than the one Morrigan's got on. We'll let Morrigan have it. Okie dokie. Oh, I can hear scary noises. And in come the shades. Uh, me dirty fighting didn't work. <laughs> Dirty fighting don't work against shades, apparently. Um, uh, <clears throat> yes, you're right, the puzzle does take too much faffing about. Oops, I've fallen out of the world! Oh no! Dora's literally just fallen out of existence. Oh, there we go. She's come back. Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Did she actually fall out of existence or did I just accidentally pause the game without realising and then I couldn't move? I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, but anyway, I was reading the chat. That's what it is. Uh, yes, the puzzle does take too much faffing about. Uh... That's another returning viewer we've got. I never know what to call you, returning viewer, because, what is it, T-M-N-W-G just doesn't kind of roll off the tongue <laughs> very well. I need a nickname for you, like Welsh friend has a nickname. Do you want a nickname? You want to give yourself a nickname that I can call you? I'm trying to think one up now and I can't think of anything. <laughs> of nicknames for all of your regular viewers. I mean, like, Fred and Timothy are easy because they're just names. Right, and then we've got Welsh friend. Can you give yourself a nickname that I can call you by? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> um, uh, right, okay, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to go and tell a guy that his daughter's kind of a bit <clears throat> dead. Uh, but I need to kill some shades first, so you know, that'll put it off. Um... There we go. <laughs> Just reading the chat, don't mind me. Just giggling at the chat. Whatever you like, oh, don't make me come up with a nickname for you. I'm terrible at things like that. Uh, don't know enough about you. <laughs> not that I'm asking you to tell me things about you, that's not what I'm saying. Um. Um. Um, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> um uh, let's go talk to this guy while I think about it. Hello! Is 
she in there? Why hasn't she come back? Well, you see, <laughs> we could try and lie to him. Uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> that would be an optimistic response. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'll come up with a solution any minute now. <laughs> See to pop in the fade and get her back. Um, yeah, okay, I'll be honest. She's, uh, she's been better. She's dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Thank you for finding her. I'm grateful. The phrase to activate shale is Doolin Hard. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now I guess I'll go. Um, just read in the chat. Um, common misconception would actually be a really cool nickname for you. <laughs> you know, just. <laughs> <laughs> I just call you common misconception <laughs> because I sort of saw that comment out the corner of my eye and didn't read it properly and I thought are they saying I should call them common misconception and then actually that would be a really cool nickname I could just call you <laughs> just, could just call you common misconception <laughs> that's a cool nickname right <laughs> um, um, okay, right, uh, right, okay, so, um, we've just told the guy that his daughter's dead, but now we can go and get a golem to make ourselves feel better, yay! Um, uh, uh, <laughs> common misconception, alright, okay, that's what I'll call you. <laughs> Oh, you can imagine in later streams when, like, new people who missed this stream come in and I just go, Hey, common misconceptions, back, And they'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go and wake Shale up. <sighs> Hello, Shale, me darling. Uh, yes, Duel and Han. Someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. You know, she must have one hell of a crick in her neck after, like, staring up at the sky for however long she's been there. Uh, hello to you too! How do you know I'm not a mage? <laughs> Wonder what she says to that when I'm playing as a dwarf. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Uh, are all the villagers dead? Uh, I mean, not all of them. Like, two ran past me. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Uh... <laughs> Gollum sounds like a drag queen with a three-pack a day smoking habit. Actually... To be fair, it just sound a little bit like Deirdre from Coronation Street, doesn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Remember Deirdre from Coronation Street? Yeah, I definitely sounded a bit like Shale. Um, do you have a name? You don't care for them, I take it. Did you watch the attack? Yeah, you, uh, you don't care for them, I take it. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Of course, what's worse is that, like, she was, like, frozen looking up at the sky, so she wouldn't even have had that much of a good view. Like, it would all... <laughs> but have been relying on the old peripheral vision. Um, yeah, do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all. 
the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Uh, it certainly does, right here in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Uh, yeah, okay, walk over there. I wish I could order her to do something, like, really stupid, like, I, I don't know, stand on your head or, like, do a dance or something like that. But no, just walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Uh, I shouldn't be happy that about that. Can it be fixed? Uh, yeah, shouldn't you be happy? Mm. I suppose if I can be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Um, yeah, I hadn't really given it much thought. I just kind of thought it would be cool to have a golem. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Can you actually order Shale to kill Alistair? Is that an option if you bring Alistair with you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> um... um yeah, are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yes, you killed your former master, apparently. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! <laughs> I love Shale. I love Shale so much. Yeah, you don't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. Again, fair enough. Okay, um... So, what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Uh, yeah, you know what? You can come with me. You look like you, you know, kick some ass. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Shale, is that supposed to be a joke? Is that your name or what you're made of? If you're following, then we're going. That's a good line. I'm coming. Do not worry. Yay! Uh, should you get rid of Liliana and just put Shale in? Yes. Even though we're not going to be fighting anybody, but you know, it's just cool to have a golem following you around, isn't it? Oh, Shale disapproves! Oh, what did I say, Shale? What did I say to make you disapprove? Look how dinky she is. Oh, she's so cute! She's such a dinky little golem. Um, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're done here now, aren't we? I don't think there's anything else we need to do. We'll head back to camp. Um... Just read in the chat. the chat sometimes i think some people are like behind they're like watching it and you get like comments from things that have happened like you know like 20 minutes ago oh 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 <laughs> the chicken went splat oh shale doesn't like birds right but the chickens can't even fly uh, uh, right, let's go back to the camp. <laughs> oh dear. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? I've just come back to camp with a fucking golem in tow, and this is what you want to talk about. Okay! Uh, yeah, sure, what did you find? It is not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells. A map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Um, 
So yeah, was it all for nothing? No, not for nothing. There is much of interest here in her writings, and one thing in particular I find fascinating. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Mm. <laughs> yes, she drink blood, eat children. That is closer to the truth than you might think. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chasen's legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Okay, so, eh... Uh... Yeah, why would she risk sending you with me? Although, I'll tell you what's interesting, is when Flemeth sort of, like, gives you Morrigan, if that's the right term, um, sends Morrigan with you, um, she says, what is it, something like, I, I give you that which I value beyond all else in the world, right? Which at first you kind of think, oh, that's sweet, that's her mother's love for her daughter. And then you find out that Morrigan is kind of the key to Flemeth's immortality. Like, is that what she was referring to when she said the thing she values beyond all else in the world? That's like her next body. That's what she actually meant. <laughs> it just it just gives that line a real dark undertone. That like, that's not a mother's love for a daughter. That's like, yeah, that's my future body, so don't let it get killed. <laughs> um, you know. Um... Uh... Okay, so yeah, why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Uh, uh, uh. Um, yeah, so if you died, she would have another daughter? Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities. Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. Um. Yeah, so... Hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm just trying to, you know. Um, I've got half an eye on the chat. That's why. <laughs> that's why I'm distracted. Right. Um. Um. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So, what do you intend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, perhaps you should talk to her about it first. I always love that option. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> Mom, I need to sit down and have a talk with you. <laughs> Is it true you're planning on killing me and taking my body to, like, make yourself immortal? Because I think we need to have a discussion about boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why do you need my help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think. I'm not going to ask too many questions about this. I think Dora would just be on board. She'd be like, you know, Dora doesn't really like her mother either. And she's like, your mother's are like a lunatic who's trying to, you know, take your body to make herself a ball. Yeah, sure, I'll kill her for you. Why not? You know, we like each other, don't we? Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'll see what I can do. Sure, I'll see what I can do, love. I am grateful. The sooner
sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Okay, and Morrigan approves, because she loves me, because I'm amazing. And in my 200 subscriber special, I did uh, the Flemeth fight completely solo with no party at all. It was just me. Went up against her alone, just the main character, didn't take any of the party with me, and I thought it was going to be really difficult, and it turned out to be really easy. Um, we probably won't do that this time. Okay, so... Um... Uh, okay, so we're going to start wrapping it up, I think, because we've been going nearly three hours and we're at a convenient place to stop. And uh, I was going to do a once around and maybe have a chat with a few people, but I think it's better to start an episode like that. Because, you know, if, if, if you kind of start a live stream with like all of like the faffing about and doing, you know, sorting the inventory out and stuff like that, it gives everybody time to arrive, doesn't it? Everybody time to get the notifications and stuff. You know, all the millions of people who want to watch me, you know. <laughs> you know, gives a chance for like the, uh, the gang to get here. And it's always good when the gang is here because then, you know, you get like fun stuff going on in the chat, which is... Uh, 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 sorry, I'm reading the chat. I can't remember what I was saying. I was saying something about the chat and then I started reading the chat and I forgot what I was going to say about the chat. Uh, <laughs> it's not a single mod that lets you bro hug Alistair. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Like, that is a good point. They do. There's loads of like improved romance scenes, but there's not like improved best friend scenes. And uh, personally, I'm, I'm always more interested in like the friendships that you have in uh, video games than in the, the romances. I mean, I love a good romance as much as anybody, but um, I'm not as interested in them as what I used to be, like when I was a teenager and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm just like, oh, I like me besties, man. I love a good best friend uh, relationship in a video game. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> common misconception, just wants a hug. That's what we're calling you now, you know. It's just your name, you're now common misconception as far as we're concerned. <laughs> okay, so uh, if we wrap things up here, next time I think we're probably going to go and do Red Cliff. I think Red Cliff feels like the next logical step. Uh, we probably won't get all of Red Cliff done in one live stream, especially not since it takes me three times as long to do anything because I keep getting distracted by the chat. Um, yeah, we're probably going to... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you lot crack me up. <laughs> I'm not even going to read that comment out, Welsh friend. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, we'll go do Redcliffe next time. Um, just make Alistair hate me even more. Um, I'm not 100% sure which option we're going to pick with Connor, but I know it's not going to be the magic happy ending where um, both him and his sword survive, because I fucking hate that ending. I just think it's stupid. Um, I much prefer having to have like the difficult choice between which one to kill, and I haven't actually decided which one we're going to go with yet. But um, yes, we'll do Redcliffe next time, which will be on Saturday, and it'll be back to our normal time, because my shifts are going back to normal after today. So it'll be 3.30 GMT on Saturday. We'll all get together. We'll do Redcliffe. We'll have a laugh like we do. And that's kind of it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I don't quite know what to do. Because I don't want to like end it too abruptly. Because I know everybody likes to like say bye and everything like that. Um... um so... Yeah, I never, I never, I never like to end it like too quickly, but at the same time, I'm just like, <laughs> got nothing to say. To say, should we, uh, should we leave with a nice shot of the moon? There's the moon, the beautiful, beautiful moon, um, which is different sizes depending on what map you're in, which I find interesting. Um, and then we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll switch to the, uh, the old pause screen. And uh, yeah, I shall see you on Saturday. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Just reading the chat. Right, okay. 
She'll save me game. <laughs> Something to do while I'm waiting for everybody to say bye. Um, go. And come out of that. Right, bye everybody. I shall see you on Saturday. And uh, there's a thing on my screen that I can't close down. <laughs> it's covering up the stop live streaming button. Fuck me, man. Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. Let's get that there. Right, okay. <laughs>